If you're a British wild animal, what would you be? I think I would be an eagle. I wouldn't be a vole, because vole is basically the snack food of British wildlife. You're really at uh, the bottom of the food chain. Everything eats voles. Even things that don't like voles eat them. <laughs> and they get a really bad deal. Cycling or stand-up paddleboarding? Stand-up paddleboarding. It's a bit more, it's calmer mm -hmm. and a bit more contemplative. Um, best place to bird watch in Britain? I don't know, I, lo I love the coast, coastal watching. Mm -hmm. you know, I've watching seabirds. So maybe Bempton or St Kilda. Um, can the countryside be cool? Yeah, mm -hmm. of course it is. It is cool. Uh, it's just our, one of our greatest resources. And, and it, it's green and it's full of beautiful things and you get to get away from the city and the, country, you know, the countryside is, is good for the soul in a way that um, it being in cities isn't. The fact that you get an uninterrupted view perhaps of the horizon you see, with the, you see the sunset and you see the sunrise. You can't do that in cities. Caravan or houseboat? Yeah, I lived on a houseboat for three years, so I'd say houseboat, definitely. Yeah, definitely houseboat, and the water you get as well. You get the water, you get the, you know, the uh, detritus <laughs> <laughs> floating past your window. <laughs> All that lovely rubbish. Oh, yes, <laughs> shopping trolley, marvellous. There's, there's something about waking up on the water which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Particularly when the tide's gone out, the boat's at 45 degrees. <laughs> Just slide <laughs> out. Feet are up in the air like that. <laughs> uh, sunlight or moonlight? Moonlight. Because um, I've done a couple of walks, uh, night walks and night paddles. And paddling on the water in, in the moonlight is one of life's great delights. Cottage or castle? Ooh. Well, to visit, I'd say castle. But yeah, the cottage. Mm -hmm. I think cosy, cosy cottage. Nice. Castles are too drafty. Cider yeah. or ale? Uh, cider. I uh, grew up on cider. Well, not obviously, you know, as a baby, <laughs> but uh, at legal age, West yes. Country style. West country style. <laughs> Mountain or ocean? The ocean, because we're an island. We're surrounded by it. You know, we have to get in it at some point. And um, which county, in your opinion, has the best sense of humour? I would say, on balance, the oldest county, Devon. Whenever anything goes wrong, they just say, proper job. <laughs> and then that seems, to be, that seems to work it out. Yeah, <laughs> easy way to sign All right, up. proper job. <laughs> and if you were to walk from the length of Britain from Land's End to John O'Groats, and you could pick any travelling companion from past or present times, who would you like to walk with you? Maybe Edward Thomas, you know, the poet, because mm -hmm. he, he was a great, uh, he, he, just, he loved the countryside. And he had a beautiful turn of phrase for, for the restorative power of the outdoors on the soul. You might get someone who's good at catching wildlife, but they might be a bit boring. I find mm. some of those survivalists a little bit tedious. <laughs> I remember I met one at a party and he said, look, he, try, he, he said, I have got nature's plaster here, and it was yarrow, right? And he had some chopped up yarrow in a, in a little tube like that. And he got an enormous hunting knife out and deliberately cut his hand so it bled. And he goes, look, I will use nature's plaster to staunch the flow of blood. And he, and he kept putting some of this yarrow in it, and it was still, blood was pouring out. And he went, I will use nature's plaster to, to staunch the, and then, and then somebody else went, do you want a bit of decal on that? And he went, yeah, actually I do, yeah. Secluded beach or seaside pier? Now I would say I prefer the secluded beach. Yeah. Popping some seaweed. You know. <laughs> Nature's bubble wrap. Pasty or pie? A pasty, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Who's your rural hero? I love the, the books of Robert McFarlane, mm. who has written these wonderfully lyrical books about the British countryside, about finding the wild places, finding, you know, his books, The Wild Places, The Hollow Ways, The Old Ways. And, I, and it's, it's really inspired me to get out and walk more and find out more about the countryside. And I think that's what he's done. He's sort of almost like, you know, kind of reignited a passion for walking and spending time in the countryside. And this is the final question. Yes. I was just wondering, which bird in Britain, in your opinion, has the best call and can you replicate it? 
the best call. Uh, do you know what? Um, I love the puffin. Yeah. So about right, isn't it? That's lovely. Yeah.